Hello there everyone, it's me Lamer Gamer. hope you're all doing well. Now today's Crypto Potato video is all about minting an NFT. Today we are going to be minting an NFT on the Avalanche network. For those of you that don't know, Avalanche uses a particular coin or currency called AVAX, which is different from your Bitcoins and your Ethereum and your Helium and Matic. And there's so many different coins out there that you can use to mint things that, um, yeah, I'd be here listing them all day. But yeah, now before I go into anything, I do want to remind you that this is not financial advice. These are just tips and tricks that have helped me out on my sort of NFT cryptocurrency journey. So the project I've decided to use um, as my sort of demonstration of this is a project called AI Casso. Now, not only am I going to mint the coin, but we're actually going to use their staking utility as well, which basically means once you've minted an NFT, you can then do what they call staking, which is where you then effectively give the NFT back to a centralized wallet and it accumulates AVAX. It's basically like a glorified savings account. So you have an NFT that's worth so much, you put it in the bank, I guess, and then you accumulate interest over it. With this project, when you stake the NFT, they actually do like investments and stuff like that on your behalf so that your NFT contributes to the available money available, I guess is the correct term for it in this project. So basically you put in and they invest on your behalf. So almost like an investment savings account. And that's the way I like to think that that works. Obviously this only works if the project is successful and continues making money through staking and stuff like that. The moment you start lose, like it stops accumulating money, it's probably best to pull your NFT out of there and sell it or burn it. So what is minting? So I could take a lovely little picture of, I don't know, say, take a picture of my tape measure here. And then we now have a picture of my tape measure. Oh yes, it's worth absolutely nothing apart from the, what I would pay it, the local warehouse. If I want to make that an online NFT, you have to go through a process of minting whereby you put it on the blockchain, which other people will explain that to you, but basically it's like the network where everything lives. Um, and then you have to mint it, which basically gives it like, okay, this is my tape measure. I'm gonna give it a stamp of approval. And now it has a value online. And that is how I understand that works. Obviously, time, if I'm completely wrong, then let me know in the comments and I'll have to re-update this video. Um, once that NFT is in circulation, you can sell it, you can trade it, you can do whatever you want with it. You, I think you also have the rights to like print it and you could have like, this is a pillow case if you wanted my tape measure as a pillowcase. Some people do. There's lots of strange things out there that people have paid lots of money for. But yeah, so I've managed to get whitelisted on this project called AI Casso, which I will now take you through the process of minting. So first things first, we need to find the minting page. Now, like most NFT projects or cryptocurrency projects, they have a Discord. You can either find that through their Twitter pages, Instagram pages. You'll have heard about the NFT project that you're looking to work on through some form of social media. So in this case, I found about AI Casso from a shilling page. I'll talk to you about shilling another time. So yeah, let's head over to the AI Casso Discord now. So now I'm on the AI Casso Discord. Most NFT projects or cryptocurrency projects will have this link or this sort of Discord setup. So if you go down the left hand side, it will tell you a bit, some announcements, it'll tell you about the rewards and bits and bobs like that. It'll tell you about some giveaways that they've got going on. But the one that we're interested in right now when we're trying to mint is links, which is this one here. We've just clicked. And as you can see here, they've got an Instagram, a Twitter page, a TikTok, all the fun stuff that you expect from a good NFT project. And as you can see here, website and where to mint. If you are sent any other links in DMs or anything like that, ignore them because they're normally scammers trying to take money from you. So uh, please don't fall foul of those. So what we're going to do now is mint an NFT. So if we click AICasso.io to get onto the minting page for that. Where's the mint page? I've clicked connect wallet and it's given me a choice of the two wallets you can use. This is very important to do before mint day because normally mint day is just manic and you don't want to be messing around transferring funds to different wallets. Now, the two wallets that you can use for this particular project is MetaMask and Wallet Connect, both very common and popular wallets. I use MetaMask for my online sort of storage of my cryptocurrency. So that is the one I'm going to use. So you click that. Um, action required in MetaMask. Please switch to the active account in your wallet. So you go there, you press OK, and then you will have to log in through MetaMask and give it 
some authorization once you're authorized and everything like that you can see that you've got enough avax in there because that is the token that the avalanche system uses and then you are ready to mint when mint goes live when it becomes time to mint we will get a notification in discord and then all we'll have to do is come here and click whichever nft we would like to mint so we just have to stand by and wait for an announcement okay everyone the mint is live that means the governance nfts are now ready to be minted like i said head over to the discord and as you can see there they have tagged everyone in the conversation or chat or post or whatever you're going to call it so what we have to do then is follow the link to the mint website so like i said if you get any dms about free mints or anything like that ignore it because normally they are scams this is an official page under the official announcements etc etc um, so you know that it's legit for the page. Once again, if you are gonna mint any NFTs, before I click this button, make sure you do your own research on the projects. Your own research is more important than watching any video that any YouTuber has. I've done my research and now it's time for me to mint because I feel like this product or this NFT project is a good one to invest in. So what I'm gonna do now is click this link here and it will take me to the website to mint that we've already linked our wallets to. So here we go. And there we go, it tells us that the wallet was connected and we are ready to mint our governance NFT. So if I wanna do three, which I want to because I believe in this project, once again, because you're doing it with your own funds, only mint what you can afford to. Never mint outside your own means because let's face it, we've all gotta eat. So for me, I feel like this is gonna be a strong project and I want to actually mint three of these governance NFTs. So one, two, three, and then I'm gonna click governance NFT mint. And as we can see here, the MetaMask has appeared and it has told me that this is ready to roll. And that is how much it's going to cost, all of that sort of stuff. So you check and make sure this information is right. Now, one of the privileges I've had of being a whitelist or an OG member is that I actually get a discounted rate on the mint. So instead of it being 1.2 AVAX, it actually works out to about 1.1 AVAX. Um, the good thing about minting NFTs in one hit, you can actually save a little bit of gas as well. So we are now only sitting around about here, which is great. So what I'm going to now press is confirm, and this should now mint my NFTs. So here we go, confirm. Minting your AI Casso right now, it says. And there we go. Wow, the AI Casso is yours. Happy days. So first things first, I've minted these NFTs, right? But I don't know what they look like. So the best way to find that out is to go back to the Discord and hopefully you'll be able to see your recently minted um, your recently minted NFTs on the marketplace or staking site you have. So what we'll do then is we'll head back to the Discord and find that link. So now we're back on the AI Casso link website and as you can see here, governance NFT on Kalau marketplace, I want to say. So if I click that, it should show me what my nfts are now at the moment i don't know what my nfts look like so i'm going to need to log in and click my nfts and these are the three nfts i've minted we've got one that looks like a cool painting one that looks like something in venice i want to say but obviously these are all ai generated i understand and then this one i don't know what this one is it's like fighting some sort of fiery dragon plant with two little characters here on the bottom left but yeah they all look pretty awesome to be fair okay so now we have our three governance nfts from the ai casso collection now what does that mean one we've got a cool bit of artwork but two one of the benefits of being a part of this project i understand is that you can stake them which is like i said earlier you get the nft at a value you stick it in like a bank vault and then it accumulates interest or it does its work for you and you get a payback over a period of time that should hopefully return on your investment in like a year or so which to be fair i reckon is probably better than the interest that some of the banks are giving you out there so what we'll do now is we'll now go through the staking part of this app okay so we are now back on the ai casso discord page and we are now scrolling through to look for the staking app now what is interesting is it doesn't actually tell you that it is the staking app but what I do know from being familiar with the project is that it says website and where to mint and you can actually stake it through the website. So that's my insider information because I've been a part of this community for a little while now. So you click here, it tells you that you can, the wallet's already connected and then we can either launch the staking app here or we can click up here. I'm just gonna do it 
center of the page because why not and we are going to stay because remember we minted the governance nfts so we're going to click here now action required in metamask please switch to the active account in your wallet so we know that we're in the, the correct account because it says there are three nfts available to stake so i'm going to approve for stake the metamask page has now appeared up here and then all i have to do then is say that i am happy for it to be staked and in order to do that you have to pay an administrative fee which is called gas so the longer you wait it could either go up or down so i'm just going to get it done now so i'm going to press confirm it says busy at the bottom and eventually it will say complete or something like that so then it knows that i can stake my nfts and there we go we're now ready to stake so we're going to type all three because what's the point in having one left out we're going to press three and we're going to press stake metamask is then going to ask us to authorize that again so we're going to press confirm and now it's going to say busy remember guys if you are staking and unstaking things then uh make sure you have enough gas to cover it otherwise you're going to have some trouble so now as you can see in my metamask sort of um, activity log i've approved the stake and i've just staked them i think that's the correct terminology so what we're going to do now is just refresh the page and hopefully this should say three and there we go it says three nfts have been staked obviously after this is accumulated some uh, avax we can harvest this and that will go straight back into our metamask wallet brilliant so we have minted three nfts and we have staked them as well so hopefully in a couple of weeks or months we'll start seeing some avax being generated and being given back to us in our accounts um, what I'm going to do in a couple of months time is just do an update and see how much AVAX that has earned. So today is the 18th of April at 5pm in the UK. So in around about a month or two's time, I'll do another update and we'll see how that's gone. If you have any questions or if you have an NFT project that you'd like me to get involved with, then please drop me a comment or DM me or head over to the Discord and drop me a message there. So I just want to finally say a big thank you to AI Casso for allowing me to mint one of their governance NFTs as part of their project. Like I said, one more time, this is not financial advice. These are just hints and tips that I've found useful um, and I thought it'd be great to share with you guys. And if you did like this video and want to see more like it from the Crypto Potato series, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell just so you know every time I go live. In the meantime, you all take care and I'll see you online. Cheers.